Welcome back, Tiger Sports fans, for another episode of Tiger Sports Nation. I'm your host, Katie Moore. And I'm Tessa Coker, and we're going to get you caught up on Tiger Sports from this past week. The softball team played Kenyon twice on Saturday at home and won 9-0 and 8-0. On Sunday, the Tigers hosted Ohio Wesleyan and played twice. DePaul won both games 13-9 and 12-0. In their 12-0 victory, the Tigers were led in runs by Goose Moore and Katie Matthews. They each scored three times. Alex Romero Salas led DePaul on the mound, pitching four strikeouts. The Tigers will be back on the field when they travel to Franklin this Thursday. The first game of two is set to begin at 3.30 p.m. The baseball team hosted Ohio Wesleyan for a doubleheader on Saturday and won both games 7-3 and 13-3. In the second game, Ty Sucre led the Tigers in runs with two. On the mound, DePaul was led by Pierce Rando with nine strikeouts. Rando was named NCAC Pitcher of the Week. On Sunday, the Tigers hosted Rose Holman and fell 16 to eight. Up next for DePaul is a doubleheader at Denison. The first pitch is scheduled for 12 p.m. The women's lacrosse team traveled to Ohio Wesleyan on Saturday and came up short of victory 14 to six. They will take the field next Tuesday at 6 p.m. when they host Denison. As for the men's lacrosse team, they traveled to Denison on Saturday and fell 20 to 10. Their next game is scheduled for Wednesday at 4 p.m. at Wabash. The women's tennis team traveled to Ohio Wesleyan on Saturday and won 7-2. And on Sunday, the Tigers hosted Wittenberg and lost 6-3. DePaul will be back on the court this Saturday when they travel to Kenyon. The first serve is scheduled for 10 a.m. The men's tennis team also traveled to Ohio Wesleyan on Saturday and won 9-0. Then, the Tigers beat Wittenberg on Sunday at home 8-1. DePaul will be back in action this Saturday when they travel to Kenyon. Their match is set to begin at 1 p.m. The women's track and field team hosted and won the Indiana D3 Invitational this past weekend. They collected 46 top 10 finishes and eight Tigers pulled in 10 first place performances. DePaul will return to action this Friday at the Rose Holman Twilight Invitational. As for the men's track and field team, they also competed in the Indiana D3 Invitational and placed fourth out of eight teams. The Tigers earned 23 top 10 finishes. Three of these were first place performances. On Friday, the men will also travel to compete at the Rose Holman Twilight Invitational. The women's golf team played in the Lady Jaguar Invitational over the weekend and placed 11th. They finished with a two round score of 652 and were led by Becky Williams. She shot a two-round score of 153. The Tigers will be back on the course this Friday when they play in the Take Back the Night Challenge hosted by Milliken University. And that's it for Tiger Sports this week. Now it's time for Hot Topic where we talk about something from the Tiger Sports world or the greater sports world that we just can't stop thinking about. Katie? I can't stop thinking about the WNBA draft. Caitlin Clark went first overall pick to the Indiana Fever, second year in, the row, in a row that the Fever got the first overall pick. I also can't stop thinking about her teammate, Kate Martin, who went just to support Caitlin Clark and then got to hear her name called just one round later than Caitlin. She went 18th overall to the Las Vegas Aces, and I think that's such a cool surprise. So yeah. Um, kind of circling back to women's track and field, um, we did have 46 top 10 finishes, which is absolutely insane. I wanted to give a special shout out to my fellow triple jumper, Anna Lervik. Um, she got a high jump PR this weekend of 1.53 meters, which translates to just over five feet, which is huge. It will put her up there in the conference. And then as well, she took third place in triple jump with a jump of 10.46 meters, which is also really, really good. And we'll have her standing in a good place for the conference championships. So, Feeling excited and feeling confident about our jump squad going into conference. That'll do it for Tiger Sports this week. Once again, I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Tessa Coker. And as always, Roll, roll Tigs. tigs.